Hi guy, just a quick video today, but I thought we'd have a, a quick chat about the whole uh, Batman Arkham Knight DLC controversy, if you can call it that. Uh, uh, honestly, I mean, I, I played the 360 version. I was very, very close to buying the PC edition at the time. Um, but my usual store that I buy the online codes from, it was cheaper than getting it direct from Steam. Had a really good deal on. And then the site went down that night and didn't come back up for a few hours. And I just got, I got distracted and went on something else and then came back to it. Still wasn't up. I just ordered it on Amazon next day delivery because I had a, luckily I just had a, 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 a trial edition going on with, um, uh, oh, I said a, a while back with a Star Wars set, so I got it f delivered for free on that. And uh, yeah, as a game, as a game, it was pretty good. I really did enjoy it. It was a lot of fun exploring the city and wandering around and stuff. But as a, as a Batman game, it, compared to the others, it wasn't as good. The story was okay, but what I really wanted to be doing by this point in the series, I mean, they've given us a city a couple of times now, the current one, the one before, I mean, um, it just, it was frustrating, you had all these bad guys running around the city, I don't want to go on about it too much, but you had all these bad guys running about the city, uh, but you had no one to save, and it was just villains all the way throughout, and there was no real focus on, on the bosses beyond... These side missions, which you'd have a side mission of, of go to Two Face with the banks, go through the bank missions solely for Two Face, and then not mixed into any more of the main stories or the Firefly or the Firebug missions. Always the same thing, chasing in the car multiple times to get to the end of the stories, and that's the end of it. They were in the main story missions. It was a bit of a mess, really. It's like they had all these ideas for content, but then. One branch would go off, the exact same thing, another branch would go, you'd see it on the spin wheel around the main thing. In a bit disappointing, very good game, but very disappointing, they could have done so much more with that city, and they just didn't, they just didn't. But yeah, the DLC, I mean, I got the, the Harley Quinn pack straight away. I mean, I'll, as an original character, I'm a big fan of the uh, animated series, and you know, that's where she came from. It was, I thought it was going to be fantastic. The voice was okay, she looked great for the part, and I thought, you know, it's going to be a bit of fun. I sat down with it, started playing with it. Five minutes in, I started seeing the alternate vision, and you could see what was going on in her mind, and, and it was quite sad, really. You know, it was all going on about the whole Joker side thing, and, you know, he was dead in this game, and, and she was, uh, her mind, and, and, and how she's taking it and how things were going for it and and it was very sad but funny in a way and I thought yes this is going to be great and then 10 minutes in and I'm getting quite far into this section and then uh, it just I'm suddenly realised I'm in a final section with Nightwing I probably have ru ruined it now I suppose but yeah you, you fight Nightwing and then you think oh what's next and then it's finished <laughs> And it's just, so it's basically like several rooms you fight through, a few corridors, and then it just ends. And it's just very, very sad and very depressing. And then I think the next one was, it was a few challenge maps, maybe. Uh, more play doesn't really interest me. And then the next one after that was, uh, was the, I think it was the Robin stuff. Uh, sorry, more night. They just, you know, the general opinion, it's just not been very good. And then there was the Batmobile, the original 89 Batmobile, which I believe had it's just its own racetrack. You couldn't, you know, because it didn't have a tank mode and the tank was very, very limited with what they did. They didn't make it so like the tank mode would pop the guns out of the original Batmobile and have that flying around the cities. And it just very, very disappointing. And then the latest one is all going back to 60s Batman with... Um, I think it's Batgirl and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, original uh, Robin. And uh, everything from it so far has been very disappointing. And for the amount of money, the respect to, you know, they charge a fair bit each time. And you're not getting a lot of content. And it's not very good content. And the challenge maps, maybe if you like you the online times you might enjoy it but from all the stuff I've been reading and the gameplay footage and stuff it's very very quick and boring and it's not very good and and I mean, if I had paid for a season pass and I was considering it at the beginning you know when I got it a month ago and I'm glad I didn't I mean, I'm really I'm glad I didn't I just thought well I'll wait a bit because I can probably get a code offline somewhere and play it that way 
And then as it's gone on, and because I had two, and now I'm just like, I don't want even want to bother with a new one. But if I'd have spent serious money on this, I'd be very, very disappointed with it. And I don't know, the DLC DLC overall has just not been very good. I mean, is anyone else bothered with it? I mean, what do you think of it? Is, is do you think you've had your money's worth? Would you be happy to pay it again, or are you a bit disappointed like me? Let me know what you think below, guys. Uh, yeah, uh, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, please rate, subscribe, and comment below.